I grew up loving two things, stories and places. I can link that directly to the fact that I lived in the suburbs, in a place where everything pretty much looked the same. I think that probably is why I found myself exploring a variety of um, different writing careers and so I became a journalist and I became a magazine writer and and I taught English and taught writing. It's probably also why I, I've lived in several different places from Denver to Mississippi to New York City and New Jersey and now I live in Massachusetts where I'm on the faculty at Gordon College, a small liberal arts Christian college just outside of Boston on the North Shore. The Lightfoot Trilogy is the story of a young reporter who grew up to hippie parents and in the process in Colorado and in the process encountered every religion possible. Book one, which came out two years ago, A Mile from Sunday, set in Denver, not accidental. Book two, set in New Orleans, which um, pre-Katrina, it's called A Quarter After Tuesday. Um, and then book three, which just has come out, is A Minute Before Friday, that's set in probably my all-time favorite place, the place I felt most at home, and that's New York City. Each story confronts a mystery that is wrapped around a particular institution. In the first book, A Mile from Sunday, it takes place in a very local church. Um, what's happening at this local church that shouldn't be happening? And Jonna has to begin to un unravel that. Um, in the second book, A Quarter After Tuesday, there's something that's happening politically in the, in the town itself, but also in a senior center where people have lived together um, as a model of reconciliation, and that's being threatened by, by a, a local government. In our third book, A, a Minute Before Friday, you have a, a world-class institution, an Ivy League university that, that really has gotten caught up in its own power structures and believes that it can do anything it wants, and yet something has gone awry there that she's, be, she's got to confront and begin to un unravel. Each book really reflects a particular part of Lightfoot's journey. In Denver, she's just sort of riding the wave of her parents' beliefs. She's on this journey as a religion reporter. She's confronting different beliefs. She begins to question a little bit. When she goes to New Orleans, she covers some other interracial issues. She finds herself disillusioned with those who say one thing and do another. And that begins to kind of unravel her faith so that by the time she gets to New York City, her own personal journey is one that it's vulnerable because she's, she's looking for she's not sure what, and yet this is the time in her life, she's in her early 30s, she's, she can no longer kind of ride the wave of her parents' religion. Jana in New York City has to bump into a variety of people, all believers in something. You know, people often ask me, how did you think up this character? How, where did she come from? And you know, I wish I could say there was some big spiritual epiphany that happened, but I was jet lagged. I couldn't sleep one night and suddenly John Lightfoot McLaughlin landed in my head and she was this religion reporter, I think subconsciously, who I've always wanted to know was out there. A lot of my experiences have spilled over into Lightfoot's story. Is John Lightfoot McLaughlin Joe Kadlicek? No. My hope is that Lightfoot really becomes a tour guide. Uh, if you will, a tour guide of these three different places in the three different books, but a tour guide in the various religious corners of our culture. I really think of Lightfoot too as um, an opportunity to offer some reprieve to, to people, to friends, to readers, to family. The fact that she's quirky and that she's She's, you know, she's kind of disorganized, she's got fashion issues, her hair is never what she wants it to be, you know, there's, there's all these different flaws in who she is that it immediately invites us to, oh, relax. She's also one who, who knows how to write a good story and knows how to cover a good story and ask some good hard questions and it's her curiosity that drives her um, and it's her sincerity that I think inspires her to keep looking for good news and, and a good man, even if she's having trouble finding both.